Hi guys, uh, John Campy here for another installment of my video blog, the first one in a while. And uh, today I'm going to talk uh, something about, just give my opinion on this whole Chris Dodd situation. But first let me lay some groundwork here. I am somebody who believes firmly and strongly that piracy is wrong. You know, I get into debates all the time with people who really have flimsy, useless excuses. And really, they're just excuses, they're not arguments, about why it's okay for them to steal. Piracy is stealing. There's no way around it. When you take something that was created and intended for sale, and you find a way to uh, subversively take it for free, that's stealing. It just is. That is my firm belief. I believe that piracy is wrong. I am behind you know, Hollywood and the music industry, you know, uh, you know, plan and crusade to stop piracy in principle. I'm also somebody who believes that they've gone about it all the wrong way trying to stop piracy and going after the wrong people and really overreaching their authority a lot. And a great example of that recently was this whole stuff about SOPA and PIPA. The Stop Online Piracy Act, which is a really nice sounding name, was really bad law that overreached its authority and was written by special interest groups, not by lawmakers. And it was a ridiculous rule. If you follow me on Facebook, on Twitter, you know I, I was one of the millions of people who campaigned to stop the bad law. It was bad for everybody, and it had to be defeated. It was an idiotic law, both SOPA and PIPA, and thankfully they're defeated for now, but you know they'll both rear their ugly heads. Now, one of the people who wasn't, this is getting into the meat of what I want to talk about today, who wasn't very happy with all this, uh, about SOPA and PIPA being defeated, was the chairman of the MPAA, the Motion Picture Association of America, Chris Dodd, who is a former member of government himself. Now, obviously, he wasn't very happy that SOPA and PIPA got defeated. Now, let me say this about the MPAA. I think the MPAA is like anything else and anybody else. I think it has its bad side and it has its good side. I have a bad side. I have a good side. You have a bad side. You have a good side. And I always resist and want to debate people when they try to paint the MPAA as all bad. Or, and I'll debate people who just try to paint the MPAA as all good. It, there's a lot of good the MPAA does, and there's some bad things about the MPAA. This is a, a situation where this is a very bad thing about the MPAA. After SOPA and PIPA, these bad internet laws, which were sponsored by Hollywood, basically, were defeated, Chris Dodd, the chairman of the MPAA, did something that I believe he deserves to go to jail for. Uh, this is his quote. He was on Fox News talking about the defeat of the bill. And this is what Chris Dodd had to say. He said, those who count on, quote, Hollywood for support, talking about the huge financial uh, donations that Hollywood gives to certain political people. Those who count on, quote, Hollywood for support need to understand that this industry is watching very carefully who's going to stand up for them when their job is at stake, said Dodd. Don't ask me to write a check for you when you think your job is at risk, and don't pay attention to me when my job is at stake. Read that very carefully. This is bribery. This is outright bribery. Flagrant, blatant bribery. This is Chris Dodd of the MPAA saying, Hey, I paid you good money. You need to come through for me. That's what he's saying. Chris Dodd is saying, I own you. I put you there. And if you don't be careful, you're going to lose out on money from me. Now, it's completely legal in the United States of America and other countries, to make donations to political leaders, which I don't think corporations should be allowed to, to donate to, to political leaders because eventually what happens is money rules and suddenly corporations are in charge, which is exactly what SOPA and PIPA were meant to do, put corporations in charge of the government, really, when it comes to the Internet. But Chris Dodd has come out and blatantly said that I paid you for something and you didn't deliver and now you're in for it. That's basically what he said. Look, read what he said again. I mean, I'm not making this stuff up. Don't ask me to write a check for you. We're watching you very carefully, he says. Now look, you're allowed to make political donations, and even though I don't think corporations should be allowed to, but you are allowed to. But what, you, what is illegal in the United States of America is to even make the suggestion that I am giving you a political donation in exchange for something. Quid quo pro, or quid pro quo, essentially. 
You're not allowed to do that. That is illegal. Now, because of this statement by Chris Dodd, the chairman of the MPAA, there's been a petition launched uh, to have the government investigate Chris Dodd because of this and the MPAA. The petition says this, that Dodd's statements, this is an open admission of bribery and threat designed to provoke a specific political goal. This is a brazen flouting of the above-the-law status people of Dodd's position and wealth enjoy. This is paramount, the, the, the uh, petition is saying, to bribery and threatening your elected government officials. Them saying, you let us control what becomes law because we're writing the checks. That's beyond ridiculous. Now look, I'm against piracy. Chris Dodd, I'll have a beer with you over that. I am against piracy. But Pippa was bad law and SOPA was terrible law. Terrible law that overstepped the boundaries. It was far too reaching. It gave far too much power to corporations. It had to be stopped. Absolutely had to be stopped. And look, what the guys at Mega Upload are doing, what pirates are doing, yes, that's wrong. But listen, folks, when you've got a guy who is openly admitting that I pay for law. I paid the government. The government is in my pocket. And if you're not in my pocket, you better watch out your next election because I'm going to get you kicked out unless you do as you're told like a good little lapdog. That's evil. That's flat out evil. And this guy, Chris Dodd, who I'm sure in many ways is a wonderful dude. I'm sure he's got many great qualities. There's a lot of things about the MPAA I love. I think the MPAA is a good organization. And I know a lot of people, especially in light of Pippa and Sopa, don't agree. But, but really, it is. But this is bad. And this needs to be stopped. This needs to be punished. This needs to be investigated. Now, maybe I won't go so far as to say Chris Need absolutely should go to jail. But I will say Chris Dodd needs to be investigated. The MPAA on this matter, for the sake of the MPAA, needs to be investigated. When the head of your organization comes out and says, we paid good money for a certain result, you didn't give us the result, so watch out, watch your back. That's threats. That's, that's borderline extortion. That's bribing our government officials. And that is wrong. Anyway. That's just my rant on the topic. I'm not. I'm no political genius, but that's just my thoughts. Feel free to leave your thoughts and your ideas in the comments section. I'll be sure to interact with you. Thanks a lot for joining me, and until next time, bye-bye.